Welcome to Galapagos Travel Expert, your trusted source for the information and tips you need to make your journey to the Enchanted Isles perfect for you. Without doubt, the Galapagos Islands are right up there on your bucket list of destinations you want to see during your lifetime. It is important to know though that since the Galapagos is a national park and a highly protected ecosystem, choosing the best way to visit can be a real challenge. Will you prefer a hotel, an expedition cruise or some other option? What should you keep in mind when looking to choose your best option? Before anything else, it's important to remember that the Galapagos Islands are an expedition destination. Visitors do not and should not expect traditional mass tourism. For example, there are no massive cruise ships traversing the Galapagos Islands. The largest ship you will find are expedition vessels, which are limited by the Galapagos National Park authorities to a maximum of 100 guests. Only 69 small expedition ships are authorized to work in an area similar to that of the state of Mississippi, with only 75,000 tourists per year, a total that is similar to the number of spectators at just one football game in one night. The cruise ships are truly exclusive and highly regulated. Each one has a well-defined itinerary authorized by the Galapagos National Park, so it is important for you to analyze the places that they will take you, and specifically the visitor sites as well as the wildlife you will see on each possible option. Tip number one, the more guides available, the better your visitor experience. The most important rule that has been implemented to protect the delicate ecosystem in Galapagos is that you're not allowed to do things on your own. All activities inside the park must, by law, be supervised by an authorized guide. And the activity itself, be it kayaking, snorkeling, glass bottom boat rides, coastal exploration on zodiacs, beach walks or trail walks, must be authorized by the national park. You should also know that the group size is limited to 16 visitors per guide. This means that if your ship has only one guide and you want to kayak while other visitors want to snorkel, you will have to wait until one group finishes its activity before you can start yours. On the other hand, if there are two or more guides, voila! Each group can simultaneously enjoy any of the various activities on offer. This reduces waiting periods and allows you to take full advantage of the beauty of the visitor sites and its wildlife. Remember our tip number one, more available guides, more simultaneous activities, a better visitor experience. Tip number two, doctor on board, greater safety, a better visitor experience. The Galapagos Islands are a unique and exotic destination located far off the beaten path they hold never-before-seen beauty. What a disappointment it would be if an upset stomach, a scrape or an unforeseen allergy were to ruin your journey to such a remote destination. Wouldn't it be better to know that there's a doctor on board who can tell if you are facing a mere discomfort or a serious medical condition? Wouldn't you like to know that you or your loved ones have access to a medical doctor on board who can take care of health emergencies? Remember tip number two, doctor on board, better diagnosis and care, and a better visitor experience. Tip number three, look for exclusive visits to the islands. The Galapagos National Park authorities have defined a maximum number of visitors who can disembark at any given visitor site at the same time. This is why you should find out if your expedition vessel is going to be alone at the sites as much as possible. For example, at any given visitor site, it is possible to find just one expedition vessel whose guests disembark in small groups, each one with an authorized guide according to schedules designed by an expedition leader, whose job is to make sure that each group has a chance to enjoy the visit without crowds so that you feel like you have the island all to yourself. If, on the other hand, numerous expedition vessels anchor simultaneously on the island, they tend to work independently of one another. Unfortunately, this lack of coordination leads to numerous groups disembarking at the same time and the visitor experience is never the same. Ask your agency or tour operator to tell you 
how often your ship will be the only one at the visitor site. Keep in mind tip number three. Exclusive ship visits to the islands, better coordination and less environmental impact, a better visitor experience. Certainly, there are options available for every preference. What is important is that your visit to the Enchanted Islands be as memorable as possible for you. Remember, one, many guides, two, doctor on board, three, island exclusivity. I am Klaus Filch for the Galapagos Travel Expert. For more valuable tips on how to make your Galapagos journey unforgettable, like us.